how are you doing today? I hope that you're doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. Video two for the cozy escape, 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 escape. Awards, 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 awards. Don't look at me like that. Well, as you can see, still filming in the living room while Aaron is playing a video game over there in that area. So if you hear sarcasm from the audience, I would never. it's from him. All right, today's video is all about our magical and paranormal cozy mysteries. You guys, I love magical cozies. I just, they're like my bread and butter. I'm, I just love them so much. Okay, I will preface this with I have not read all of these books that are up for grabs for the awards, but I have read through all of the synopses and I have written down a couple of sentences, sort of giving you the gist of the books. When you are finished watching mine, go and watch Lisa's as well, and then you can go and head over to our Patreon page and vote for your the book of your choice for each category. And we are super, super excited about this. Everything will be linked down below, including Lisa's playlist for this as well. All right, so the very first one we have is The Attic on Queen Street. This is a Trad Street book by Karen White. Return to the house on Trad Street for one last time as the psychic medium Melanie Trinholm comes to a hauntingly spectacular finale. So it looks like this is the last book in the series, but it looks like it's pretty good. Book number two is Synchronized Sorcery. This is the 11th book in the Witchcraft Mystery Series by Juliet Blackwell, which I know how much a lot of you guys love Blackwell's writing. Um, as witch and vintage store owner Lily Ivory steps into her new role as leader of the Bay Area's magical community, she's faced with a mysterious death of magical proportions Ooh. and then this is one of my picks guys you guys know this uh it is the skeleton haunts a house this is the third book in the family skeleton mystery series by lee perry i am in love uh, with this series i can't wait for the next one to come out but this one's all about sid the skeleton bones up on clues to solve a haunted house homicide in this newest mystery it is perfect for fall time you guys know that i just here's all of my my uh lee perry books over here uh i recommended this also for some fall cozies as well so you should go and check that out Book four is Wicked Wish Lists. This is a witchcraft thrift shop series by Astoria Wright. Uh, when ordinary Alice Aldecraft met wizard Sebastian Baz uh, Delvaux, he nearly hexed her for wandering into Magic Row. Since then, she's starting to like Baz, so she can't believe it when he's accused of murdering his uncle for his fortune. Can she prove his innocence without exposing her lack of magic? Or will she discover that on Magic Row, secrets are everywhere? It's such a fun series, such a fun series. And last but certainly not least in the magical category is Spelling the Tea, <laughs> like Spilling the Tea? Spelling the Tea, a magical tea room cozy mystery series by Aaron Johnson. It says, welcome to the coziest vampire owned tea room in Bath. It's steeped in magic and mystery. I mean, I've, I've been to Bath, so that automatically makes me want to read it. But those are the five choices for the magical paranormal cozies. Um, let me know what you think, but that's the end of this chapter of Cortagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.